Welcome to Two Poor Artists, where we're poor at being the actor chosen to play Doctor Doom, but mostly we're poor at making art. I'm Isaac. And my name is Benj. And if you don't know, because you haven't watched our channel long enough, we really like the superhero Marvel character called Dr. Victor Von Doom. I think it is kind of more accurate to call him a villain, even though he's a definitely a hero i mean okay so he is technically cons- he'd, he'd be in the villain yeah he's on like the villain classic. poster yeah you know how they have like the hero poster the villain mm-hmm. poster they wouldn't put but like truly he belongs in the middle yeah because i mean it's one of those scenes where it's like does he have heroic traits not really but would he save the world 100%. yes and he does regularly it's like the reason he's a villain is because mm-hmm. he's doing stuff to try to save the world yeah and it you know the heroes just don't like it right He's a misunderstood villain. Mm -hmm. The point is, even if you've never heard of Dr. Doom, you probably have over the last 24 hours because you have heard that Robert Downey Jr., Mm -hmm. best known for playing Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He was definitely one of the last people I would have expected. He's been picked to play Dr. Doom. Like, is he a bad choice? No. Except for the fact that he's already Iron Man. Like, Like, he is (laughs) Iron Man. Like, he established it. He had the famous line, Mm -hmm. I am Iron Man. Yeah. He opened and died with it. Mm -hmm. And now they're just making him Doctor Doom. Like, if this was, like, a complete reboot in a different universe, then is he a bad choice? No. It would still be weird. It would still be weird. Like, my my vote was, uh, blank on his name, but uh, the guy that played Sherlock and... Well, which is also Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The guy... Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Wait, Cumberbatch. he played yeah. Doctor Strange. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. I, I always thought... But, and he was a good Doctor Strange. So that we just need someone else that played Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not entirely sure who I would have picked to play Victor Von Doom, but it's not this guy. Mm-hmm. It's just not him. He's yeah. too short. He's... I know lots know. of people were talking about Henry Cavill, which would have been great only because... Then my favorite hero and my favorite villain would be played by the same guy. Yeah, we were definitely, we were both pulling for that. It was like, is he the best choice? I mean, he would do a good job, of course. Uh But he's not, he's not like. He is Superman, though. That's the thing, though. Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Henry Cavill is Superman. Like, there's Mm -hmm. just some characters. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Mm -hmm. Hate him or not, or love him, he's, he's the perfect choice to play the character. Yeah. You know? And nobody even really knew who Iron Man was. In the modern era, until mm-hmm. Robert Downey Jr. just like became him. Yeah, you know. I, I mean, in fact, he didn't even play the part. No, like well, he played a you know a what I mean, more like, arrogant version of. Yeah, him. like he took he took concepts of Iron Man, like you know, he took the fact that Iron Man's an alcoholic and stuff, and yeah. he had put that in. But he, I mean, he made them rewrite the Iron Man character because of how well he exactly played Iron and Man. Now they're just trying to take my favorite Marvel character mm-hmm. and make Robert Downey Jr. I, I truly hope that he does well. Yeah. I don't think, I think it'll be impossible to not just see Iron Man on the screen. Right. But here's the thing. Dr. Doom always wears a mask. Like mm-hmm. 99% of the time he's got yeah. horrible, you know, burned, scarred mm-hmm. face. Yeah. Wears a mask. So if, Even if he takes Jr., off his mask, he wouldn't resemble any like person, you yeah, know, he'll just be like a really scarred Robert Downey Jr. But mm-hmm. here's the thing. When Robert Downey Jr. played Iron Man, they looked for every possible opportunity for him to take his mask off mm. so you could remember. They even like showed Robert his Downey face Jr. inside the mask. Yeah. <laughs> so like, let's hope that's not what they decide to do. Mm-hmm. Make him Doctor Doom. Yeah, like, like if, they, if they're going to do a thing where it's like they give him a tiny scar on his face and yeah. call him horrible. Like and that's he what only they, wears that's the what mask they did like, during some of the fights. Yeah, scenes. like that's what they did in the Fantastic Four movie. You know, when he's like, "Oh, I'm so horribly scarred. I need to wear a mask." Like the old, you know, and you're like, when you're like, you're what, still like you the mean? most handsome. Yeah, man like that tiny little world. scar on your face. Like, Why are you <laughs> hiding away from the world because of that? <laughs> yeah, plastic surgeon in mm-hmm. 25 minutes, and you'd be set. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> like a, a little drop of makeup would fix that. <laughs> so, the hope we have is that they at least do the character right. Although mm-hmm. the amount of hope we have left for, oh, for Marvel for Marvel it's, movies is it's like it's hanging it, by a string. That know. string is called Doctor Doom. Yeah. And if uh, they can, if they do Doctor Doom right, then that yeah. can redeem some things. But if they don't do Doctor Doom right, I I truly believe I will never watch another Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, Until, like, I mean, it's already game. like what heroes are they even going to have up against him? Yeah, it's in case you don't know, in 26, 2026, sounds so much like the future, 2026, uh, there's going to be a 
the next Avengers movie. It's called Avengers Doomsday. It's going to have Robert Downey Jr. playing Doctor Doom. Mm -hmm. The problem is, uh, who are the Avengers? Yeah, is it don't is it exist. Falcon now called Captain America? Is it like Bucky? You know, like Captain mm -hmm. America's sidekick? Is Doctor Strange involved, even though he was never an Avenger? Yeah, like please tell me Ironheart is not coming into it because nobody likes Ironheart. Mm -hmm. you know, if you don't know who Ironheart is, uh, yeah. don't even bother looking her up. Is is You'll Peter Parker play. even Spider Man anymore? Yeah, so it's gonna be like this ragtag team of the superhero sidekicks. Yeah, you know, with fighting like no leader, fighting the best villain in marvel yeah like the most powerful like smartest. by far the most powerful. like the thing about him is he always just one-upped all the heroes yeah. like he's smarter than the smartest heroes mm -hmm. barely maybe not maybe not uh mr, mr. Fantastic. fantastic yeah but like they're they're like equal yeah, like in intelligence but like he had a better suit yeah. than iron man he has better magic than dr strange mm -hmm. like he's stronger than the like you know yeah. like like he beats the hulk yeah like in a fist fight yeah like it's not even like, and then and you're gonna have like yeah. the B team Avengers fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole point is that Doctor Doom is the best, mm -hmm. and then he loses because of his arrogance. Exactly right. Like that's that's his whole character. And he has like, in case you don't know anything else, we'll just give you the full rundown on Doctor Doom. He has his own country. It's not Wakanda. It's Latveria. Mm -hmm. It's like this dystopian paradise. Everyone in his country loves him. Mm -hmm. They have like peace and prosperity and he's truly loved by all of his citizens yeah. because he's just that good to yeah. them like i mean he is he's like he like rules with an iron fist he's not particularly merciful yeah but but his country is just the best yeah because of it and he yeah like he sees in the comics at least he has like a glimpse into the future and he sees like the destruction of earth Mm -hmm. And he sees that the only way for the Earth to be destroyed is if he oh, takes to over. To be saved. The, sorry, sorry. The only way for the Earth to be saved is if he takes over the Earth. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like world domination. Yeah. You know, because his country is so, like, perfect. He just wants mm -hmm. that for the whole world so that it won't be destroyed. Yeah. And all the heroes try to stop him. Mm -hmm. And, like, this is a thing that's, like, it's not just, oh, he saw a vision and he's some crazy guy. Like, this no, is confirmed like, by, like, multiple omniscient beings yeah, like, in the Marvel it is Universe. Thing in the Marvel Universe that Earth will be destroyed unless Doctor Doom conquers the Earth. Yeah. But, of course, him conquering the Earth goes over real bad with all the heroes. Mm -hmm. You know? And yeah. It's just, so. yeah. Very complex character. If Robert Downey Jr. can do it right, mm -hmm. It'll be the greatest thing yeah. you've ever seen in and, a Marvel movie. And, yeah, and like I said, he's he is an actor good enough to play the part. It's true. like he's he's a good pick. And if they use a lot of makeup and a mask, we yeah. might even forget it's Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just yeah, Iron Man in this other metal suit. Yeah. It's also ironic that Doctor Doom in the comics has been Iron Man before, but it's like it's like the opposite yeah. way. There was a time in like the comics Tony's where Dark is dead. Yeah, and Doctor Doom decides I'm going to become Iron Man to do it better. And guess what? He just does. Mm -hmm. He's like the way best Iron Man yeah. ever because he's way stronger and has a better suit. And just mm -hmm. the point yeah. is, now that we've rambled for eight and a half minutes about mm -hmm. Doctor Doom, yeah, um, we're gonna draw Doctor Doom today. Mm -hmm. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Now, for Doctor Doom, this is the thing with superheroes. Do you spell out the word Doctor or is it Dr. Period? Mm -hmm. Because certain superheroes have that. Kind of like certain superheroes have hyphens. Like, Spider-Man gets a hyphen. Superman, no hyphen. Batman, mm -hmm. no hyphen. Pretty yeah. much every superhero except Spider-Man, no hyphen. But, you know, Doctor Strange, it depends on, like, the day for him. Sometimes it's DR. Sometimes you have to spell the whole word Doctor. Mm -hmm. I think for Doctor Doom, it's generally, like, the whole word. Yeah, because it's, like, so often you almost associate it, like, with as his name more than just a title even though it is an ac accurate title yeah like it is his actual name kind of like dr strange yeah dr v victor Wernin werner dr victor werner von doom mm -hmm. has a nice ca catchy name <laughs> yep. yeah it's by dr doom and you think dr doom is like oh he's such a bad guy but it's literally just like his last name mm -hmm. you know yeah, well, be like yeah, if you Von, were named Von Doctor Doom. Destruction, and that was just like your last yeah, name. Yeah, and you're just like a doctor. Yeah, like people be a little scared mm -hmm. of like, going to your office. Like, should I go to this supervillain's office? Yes, yeah, but you know he's just there to give you yeah. a checkup and mm -hmm. tell you to exercise more. And... Or he's like a vet. Oh, it's like <laughs> even worse. What? If you end up in the vet's office by yourself on accident, it's just real embarrassing. You know? Yeah. So they're like, oh, where's where's your dog? And you're like, oh. 
<laughs> I thought this was a doctor's <laughs> office. It's just me. And then, and then they just, you know, they do a checkup anyway. <laughs> it's real uncomfortable, though. Yeah. It's real. They don't know what they're doing. No, they've never seen a human before. <laughs> yeah, that's why they became vets. <laughs> Scared of humans, really. And you don't want to get a pet checkup done on yourself. Let me just no. say. I'll just let you imagine why that might be the case. But if you've ever brought your pet to the vet. Yeah, because, you know, like, when's the last time someone was just like, we brought you to the doctor today so you could be, you know, neutered. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, it doesn't happen, right? But, like, that's, like, the main thing vets do. <laughs> you know? I don't it's think, a little scary. I don't think that's... I think it true. is. I think if you if you went into like, the, it's definitely a thing they do, okay. but to call it the main thing they do. If you're a vet, uh, leave us a comment yeah, saying tell what us, the most common tell us procedure what, is you do. Tell and us the not, main thing you do. If not, here's the thing: we always ask for that oddly specific group to reach out. If not, just go like as you're driving home from work this week, and you see like a vet's office, just pop in real quick and be like, "Hey, I got a question that the super artist wanted me to ask. Yeah, what is the most common procedure you do on animals?" Yeah, I, I want. I do want to know. I I think it's probably a standard checkup. Is it a procedure though? Okay, I guess if you only do procedures. Yeah, it's like the only procedure. Vets maybe it's like that, and you know, like do does vaccinations one? count as Honestly, a procedure? I still think there's probably <laughs> more neutrons. <nutrients. laughs> <laughs> like every pet you get. You get it vaccinated. Yeah, okay. Again, and I don't know. I don't know what counts. Just go ask a vet. Have a nice conversation with them. Show them some of our art. Tell them to subscribe. If every vet in the whole world subscribed, we'd be like the top YouTube channel for vets. <laughs> for vets. I feel like if a, if every oh, what vet... What is that? Like the bride of Frankenstein back there? Some people are just ugly. <laughs> oh, with big mouths too. No... No redemption. Looks like Odie. That one looks like some weird monstrosity out of a Garfield cartoon. It's like Odie mixed with... What's the guy's name? Michael? What? The main guy? John? John. I think it was one of those generic human names. <laughs> the generic human names. <laughs> uh, this, this is not Doctor Doom. Are you sure? Dr. Doom doesn't allow people with haircuts like that in his nation. <laughs> in all of Ludbury. In all of Ludbury. And no, no one has... No, that. there are no basketball players. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Basketball players have the worst haircuts. They really do. Like, you know... Always. Like, the Olympics started up recently. And the main thing I look at in the Olympics is haircuts. <laughs> uh, and basketballs are just basketball haircuts are just the worst. Either you... Okay, like, I respect the basketball player who just shaves it all off. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, you know it's going to get in your eyes. You know you're going to be sweating a lot. You don't want to deal with it. It's kind of gross. Just shave it all off. Go Michael Jordan style, you know? Mm hmm But then the ones who are like, yeah, like I put an afro to on it. top of my other afro, and you're like, why? You got like two headbands on each afro. What is this? Like the basketball team stopped by <laughs> wherever this is? They're all sitting in a line? See, this is like uh, the guy from uh, the... Goofy movie. Oh, the like. You, you've been on a tangent lately. We were invited to another art event recently. Over the just yesterday, and we went and everyone else was painting, but we showed them. We showed them proper art, true technique, art. ballpoint pen. You know, just just picture us how we looked in the road trip video. That's what we looked at at the painting event. And by painting event, I mean that's technically what they called it. But they they don't stop you from bringing your ballpoint pen and no black ink. You know, so that's why we there's go. No, there's no rules about it. You got to start small. Teach the world how to teach the world how to draw. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, there's that song back in the day, like "Teach the world to sing." We teach the world to draw. That we do. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't inspire anyone, as far as I could tell. Though there was lots of color. No, there, used. there was. Uh, well, they used they used blue ink pen gross but there was another pen drawing happening yeah see at least they're getting there i guess either way you've been drawing really weird hairstyles like that guy's lately and i don't mm -hmm. know what's wrong with him looks like he's been struck by lightning and the lightning bolt just 
the first changed his hair to look like it. The first guy's pretty normal hair. Yeah, that guy. I can. That guy's normal. That guy's fine. Like it's still like not much on the bent down this side. Last guy, I gotta say, also wears his pants a little high, <laughs> and he's got a real short arm. <laughs> Just how it is. Like imagine if you were sitting in a chair and you held held your arm down to the side, and it was like. Did it reach? Like it made it fairly to like yeah. past you. Like if armpit. I put my arm down to my side while sitting, yeah. it's like almost a foot past where I'm sitting. Okay, I can't say I'm a foot past. Yeah, but like, I mean, probably not like a whole foot, like a hand length. Like, yeah, more than a hand length for me at least. Yeah, long arms, I guess. But yeah, like even th- like all of these people have short arms. I still have yet to see what this has to do with Doctor Doom. Yeah. Uh, the pun always goes last. Oh. I'm going to draw one more guy. <laughs> We're all on the edge of our seats. Waiting to see what his hairstyle looks like. He got a real square nose, too. Yeah. You really... You got the pointy noses, the rounded noses, and you got a square-nosed. Nose first, man. Whoa! He's screaming or something. It's like he lost his dentures. Now we found him. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. What is that? Just drooping emo man. Yeah, emos have to go to You can see his eye though. Yeah, there we go. Emos, emos have to go to emos have to go to the too. doctors too. Is that In fact, this guy's probably the one that um, most wants to be here. <laughs> That is a bit concerning. If you want to be at the doctor, something's wrong with you. Well, if you're yeah. sick, you want to be at the no, doctor's. I mean, you want to, No, you don't. You want the you want the doctor to give you something so you, like as quickly as possible so you can leave. You're like write me a prescription from the waiting room. That's what you want. That's why telehealth th- Oh gosh, this guy's got a normal arm. That's why telehealth things are like the most wonderful invention of our modern day. You know? The fact that you can just like call a doctor and do a video call with them for five and a half minutes if that and they'll write you a prescription Mm -hmm. that is nice and it's usually so much cheaper too yeah it is but uh i like i like the doctor's office i caught a pink eye recently for the first time in like 20 something years and literally i just had to hold the phone up to my face and be like look look at it look at it oozing and crusting and please and they're just like yeah we'll call it in but you know what like if you had to go to the doctor to do that you would be just praying to leave as quickly as possible but it never quick yeah the waiting room literally where you spend 98 percent of your visit at the doctor's office Mm -hmm. and then you wonder how that's even possible because when the doctor sees you you're only with them for like three and a half minutes yeah you're like what is the doctor doing they have like 26 patients they just like go for three minutes each no, it's it's because they're. I mean, and it's of course the government's fault. There's so much paperwork yeah, they have to do. So it's like they see they see a patient for three minutes, and then they literally are doing paperwork, like for the rest of that time. Man, paperwork. And they they have like, and some people like need tests. So it's like they're looking at the X-rays or they're looking at the blood work, and you know, I'm doing, just saying, like, doing that feels, stuff. It feels like even though there's like twenty different you know little rooms back there, it feels like there's half a doctor. It's like you yeah. know, <laughs> split between all the rooms. Mm-hmm. Not even a whole doctor, just half a one. Half a doctor. You ever get the legs of a doctor coming to your room? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> the upper half, a little better. I prefer them to be together. These guys are in the waiting room. Yeah, these guys are in the waiting room. And this is the door, you know. Oh, the door that... The door the door's know, the door open. That, like, he keeps... Oh. He, this is a <laughs> open door policy wow. doctor. See, most doctors, they keep you in the waiting room, they, like, lock the door tight. Mm-hmm. So, like, even if you wanted to get back there, you have to wait for some... Yeah, but, like, this... Nurse to come get you. This is uh, a... He, he does it differently because th- this doctor... It's real. It's real fast. Is this Doctor Doom? Yeah. Okay. Because if it wasn't, I was going to say his drawing is basically pointless. No. Next. <laughs> okay, I think I'll interpret everyone. It says next. Pat. Uh, is patient spelled the way I think it is? A T. What are you talking about? Like I E N T. Yeah. 
you're talking about like a like a doctor, like a patient. Yeah. Not like next, have patient. It's, uh, yeah. Next patient. I'm gonna do a speech bubble. You never do speech bubble. I know, but in this oh, case, on. is that the inside of the door? This this is the door. Oh, okay, I was seeing it real backwards. Yeah. So this is the door that is open. Here, I'll put like a little window on it so you know yeah no that helps immensely because i totally and then, thought the and then it has like the those like weird like lines on oh, yeah, it yeah like the like like they want you to know you're in prison yeah you know kind <laughs> of thing like chicken wire in the door in the window what's the point of that does it make it stronger i think it literally just gives you prison motif mm -hmm. and that's what they're going for when you're at the doctor because you'd just rather be in prison yeah so this guy this doctor Mm. Basically, you come to him. He tells you you're doomed. <laughs> the next oh, patient. Okay, these people in the waiting room look shocked, and I understand why now. Yeah, like because it's like they saw someone just go in there. Yeah, he didn't even close the door. <laughs> he just yells, "You're doomed." <laughs> next patient. <laughs> wow, this is this is pretty reminiscent of a lot of doctors <laughs> like that I've met. You know, and this is, of course. And I'm just doing the shorthand because uh, I don't want to write out Doom. the whole. Th yeah, the I whole think it one. might be for the best that you know Marvel Doctor Doom never opened up a medical practice like this. Mm-hmm. I mean, he would be a good doctor because. Yeah, but the guy, this I mean, guy, posing as Doctor Doom, clearly just got his medical license off the internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Doctor Doom from the comics can cure Ben Grimm of being a the rock thing. monster, yeah, I think he can probably cure any cold you get. <laughs> yeah, see, but he's got bigger and better things to do, like yeah. take over the world. Mm -hmm. This doctor's office, who goes there? <laughs> like, like you only go there once, clearly. Yeah, you know, like, like you go in. Like these guys are all shocked. I'm like sure, that I'm is sure like, oh, happens. this is this is what we're here paying three hundred dollars for. What happens is probably the online reviews are like really low. Like mm -hmm. go look at any urgent care around you. Mm -hmm. I was looking at that recently for, you know, trying to I didn't really care what the star rating was, but they're all right. like just the worst. Yeah. You know. Um, but I'm pretty sure what happened here is somebody went on looking for like, you know, like a urgent care doctor's office and they're like mm -hmm. really low stars. But yeah. Every review is like, but it was real quick. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was They're the like, quickest oh, doctor's that's, office that's all I've I ever been to. And people are like, mm -hmm. one, one and a half stars. Yeah. Like that's real low. Mm -hmm. But it's, I'll, I won't have to be there very long. Like mm -hmm. that's what people want because no yeah. one likes the doctor. Because you want, I like the doctor. Why do you like the you, doctor? You like 120 degree heat, and you like the doctor. But you like go to the doctor. The thing I don't like about the doctor is like you go there, mm -hmm. and it's like I don't like that part either. You go in. And they're like, you need antibiotics. Yeah. And you're like, I know. That's why I came yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, okay, that's $300. Yeah. And it's like, what's, what's and then and then you buy the antibiotics also separately. And you're like, what? Like, I, I came in here and told you I needed antibiotics. Yeah. Like, why, <laughs> why, why, why am are I you paying, required for this process? Like, why, why are you... Why am I paying you three hundred dollars? I've always had for you to write a prescription that I told you I needed. I've always had like a, a social wish for my life, and that's just that all of my friends had really convenient jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have your friend who's just a doctor, right? You know, like you get a cold, and he just writes you a prescription. Well, but if you have a cold, okay, fine. There you, is it was no a bad example. Whatever. Yeah. You get strep throat, and he mm -hmm. just like you just call him and you're, you yeah. text him. You don't even have to mm -hmm. call his friend. Yeah, and he's just like, yeah. I already called in the prescription for you. Mm -hmm. You're good. Like, you know, because he just yeah. trusts you and he's not worried about his medical license, clearly, because yeah. he trusts you. Well, I mean, he knows yeah. that like you're not like gonna you have like you're, and you're not you're not going to like sue him if, if it didn't work. So that needs to be one of the friends. You need a friend that's a pilot. Mm -hmm. You need a friend who just like owns a hotel. Like, yeah. We've been really looking for that friend. Right. You know? Like two poor yeah. artists just need a friend. That yeah. If a you own a hotel. Yeah. We'll be your friend. We will. It's true. We'll also do all the art in your hotel. All of the art for your hotel. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, we will. No questions. Yeah. Well, maybe a couple questions. Like, 
w- w- how you want it framed. Mm-hmm. Black, okay, perfect, yeah. But, yeah. You know, but but I like doctors' offices because I like talking to doctors. <laughs> like they're they're fun to talk to. Like they're not the worst, but you don't want to be there talking to them. You want to be literally anywhere else doing anything. No, else. I want to be talking to the doctor, you, but just, I don't just like go down there and hang out. But I don't like paying to go to the doctors because it's like if you have a virus. There's nothing they can do. Yeah. You know, maybe if it's bad enough, they'll give you steroids or something uh-huh. to like help your immune system fight it. But basically, they're like, just go drink some water and get some rest. Yeah, but see, like, that's the kind of friend I need. It's like here's steroids. Yeah. and if time. it's and if it's and if it's a bacteria that's affecting you, then they're just like here's antibiotics. But even that, they're like, well, we, we, we don't want to. You know how many times I've gone to urgent care and they'd be like. Well, it might be something you need antibiotics for, but we're not going to give you anything. It's like, you, you just let me suffer, huh? And I know there's the whole bent, bent, antibiotics kill the good bacteria thing, but I'm, when yeah, you're like suffering, you only, you're like, just give me everything. Well, you care. only want antibiotics if it's bacteria. But it's like, I know my own body. I know when it's bacteria or virus. So it's just, I just need a doctor yeah. to sign a prescription. If it's a virus, I don't even go to the doctor. Yeah, we, just I need, just, we just need better friends. Sleep. Just different, more variety of friends. We need friends who own a hotel, mm-hmm. pilot friend. We need a friend who is a doctor. We need yep. a friend that's just, you know, owns a comic book shop. Mm-hmm. And just gives you all your comics for free because that's how comic yep. book shop friends work. But of course, I'm only talking about like, like the doctor's office doctors. Like obviously they're specialists. There's like things, there's lots of things I don't understand about the You know the who I feel body. slightly bad for is urgent care doctors. Those doctors did not go to medical school. I mean, first of all, most of them didn't because they're like nurse practitioners and they didn't actually get right. their MD. But like but the, the actual ones doctor. Do, you're like, they did not go to medical school hoping that they'd end up in the, this two and a half star <laughs> mm-hmm. urgent care, yeah. you know, in this suburb. Like they were like, you know, had mm-hmm. dreams. <laughs> no, the ones I feel sorry for are the specialists uh, in the horrible things. Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah, where they're I like, only deal with foot fungus <laughs> you know it's yeah, like, I'm, like well, I'm the foremost expert like in, how they get tricky in yeah that, like they know? just they just like accidentally were like they went to a doctor's office like with their medical degree and got the job i imagine and then like, it's just like oh by the way did you did, I, I didn't put it on the resume you know yeah. on the on the application but this is a foot fungus <laughs> only office I imagine and i'm quitting right now so you're the <laughs> doctor <laughs> I imagine there's just scholarships involved. Mm-hmm. Really, really oh, yeah. interesting scholarships, you know? Like, we'll like pay for your whole... scholarship fund, yeah. you know? We'll like, pay for your whole degree, but you like, have to be a foot... It's just like some family doctor. who, like, suffers from chronic... Mm-hmm. You know, like, every generation, as far back as you can think of, yeah. has had just really bad foot fungus. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no... Like, their doctor's like... You know, they're like, one day they're going to have to retire. Right. No one's going to replace them. Yeah. So they go down to the local medical school with mm-hmm. a, Bag of money, dollar sign on the front, drop it on the doorstep and say, give this to the first person who says they want yep. to be a foot fungus yeah. doctor. And so it's like their whole their whole schooling is paid for, but they have to be a yeah, foot doctor for like four years or whatever. And it's like, and once you've done it, you're just like, well, yeah, I, well why, work, I'm not going to change jobs. Once like, you've touched, I'm already the foremost expert. Yeah, I mean, Once so you've <laughs> touched foot fungus feet for four years, like, <laughs> there's like it just becomes It just becomes this. Yeah, it, you become that gross foot fungus doctor. Yeah. You know, like, you drive like a Ferrari to work, but no one cares. <laughs> like, yeah. because that's, that's who you are. <laughs> like, no one's impressed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this art if you can call it that, that I've drawn. Yeah, it's scary is what it is. <laughs> like, these people are just not getting what they expected. Oh, kind of like us with Robert Downey Jr. We didn't expect him to be Dr. Doom. Because, you know, he was already the... In- I mean, I, I get the people who are making the movie, right? They're like, Robert Downey Jr. carried all of the MCU. And then we killed him off, and then all everything just fell apart so hard. It just fell apart so much, right? Yeah, but the problem is that they don't realize that it fell apart before that because oh, yeah. Endgame was terrible. Yeah, Endgame was pretty bad. So was poorly written. Yeah, like like they think, oh, we need Robert Downey Jr. back because every movie since then has done bad. Mm-hmm. But it's really like I haven't wanted to see a movie since Endgame. 
because Endgame was so bad. And then we did. We saw two. Yeah. Spider-Man was great. Yeah, Spider-Man... Well, Spider-Man was nostalgic. nostalgic. It was very poorly written. Yeah, but it didn't matter because it had... Like, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed watching it. Yeah. For sure. But it was was very... The last one you and I saw was Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah. And that, I only saw... Like, I knew it was going to be bad. Yeah. But I was like, I will give them... If they can redeem Thor... Yeah, who, he, who they ruined in multiple redeeming. movies. If they can, if they in this movie redeem him, then I will forgive he Marvel. He was like due to be redeemed, right? Because yeah. in Endgame, he was just terrible. Yeah. He was sad and mm-hmm. like depressing and just the worst. Yeah. So you're like, oh, this movie's clearly going to redeem him. And it was like, no, it's just it's him even worse. So somehow. much worse. You know, so like if they do a fifth Thor movie, like another, they, <laughs> that's what needs to happen. Mm-hmm. They need to redeem, redeem him. him. <laughs> so it's like how many? Well, we can't. How give many him times are we going to trust them? Ragnarok was bad. Endgame was bad. Love and Thunder was. I know. Bad. We can't just keep. We can't just keep going. Like there's a point I, where you have to give up on them. And like I've already hit that point. Like I never saw the second Black Panther. Or the the last Guardians, or the last Ant Man, like, like like there's just been a, nothing. Like since I'm a then. big the next Captain Marvel movie, which yeah. the first one of those was rough enough. But yeah, I actually saw, I actually did see that one just because I saw it at home on on a streaming service. It was better than the first Is Captain you Marvel. Zimbabwe streaming service. That you may or may not have. It's UK. Based. Yeah, that UK is not United Kingdom. It's like some country that no one's ever heard of. It just says based no. in the UK, and it's like they just have you know, servers. Uganda. They just have servers in these other Kingdom. countries. No, it's 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 completely legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Because we wouldn't announce to the whole internet otherwise. No, uh huh. It is one hundred percent legal. Uh-huh. Just because the laws are poorly written. Doesn't mean it's not illegal. Yeah. Okay. Well, but it's time for me to drum Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. You already did so many good puns. And you drew a doctor whose name was Doctor Doom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't. I, he he could have been nicknamed yeah. Doctor Doom. He did. Like you know what I mean. Like you. Like people call him Doctor Doom, but his name may have not been actually do i feel like i discussed some good puns with you earlier mm-hmm. and then you did your drawing and then i forgot everything that i was gonna do yep because that happens you know um but there's a lot of things puns off of doom puns off a of doctor mm-hmm. so what did i say earlier what did i say i was gonna do i don't know you said you were gonna draw mount doom yeah i mean i knew that like from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and like a doctor that only treats burns. Yeah, uh, I could draw that, couldn't I? I mean, that's what you said. Yeah, but now I think about it, it's lame. Oh, Not so you're enough. so you're gonna? I'm just gonna sit here. You're gonna and do contemplate a, it. A different? Are you gonna do a pun on the word doctor? Yeah, you know, because there's a lot of people that there, are called yeah. doctor. There's also things like Spin Doctor Pepper. Doctor Pepper. Yeah. Doctor Do the new drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty. The official. Drink of Mount Doom. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. Uh, <laughs> Everyone who hikes up Mount Doom drinks Dr. Doom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's see what we can do here. We'll do a... Do you need to destroy a magic artifact of ancient times? You hiking up a volcano? Drink Dr. Doom. There we go. Is that the tower? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's tower. The tower with the eye, as it's known. Is it ha- have a mustache and beard? What? This isn't a mustache. This is rocks and stuff. Oh. It just it looked like it had that like. Mustache top and separate beard no, no, bottom. I, I get what you're seeing, but just come back to reality here for a second. Why would I do that? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're gonna have the tower personified. Oh, I am. Like in the Lego movie. 
Oh yeah, he was pretty great. Or the well, what the what is the it Batman? Was the Lego Batman movie. The yeah. Lego Batman movie that randomly had Sauron's tower personified as a character. It also had Lord Voldemort, but not voiced but by not him. voiced by him because he was, he was already voicing Alfred. <laughs> Look at that eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's so docile. <laughs> It's not at yeah, all like, like the, the flaming eye of Sauron I remember. Yeah, well, things have changed. This is like his, his cousin. He had to get a new job <laughs> after, you know? After. Like, <laughs> did like post, 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 post. <laughs> <laughs> like he came back to power slightly, significantly weaker. Still built a tower though. Yeah, it's what he does. Like he's a giant eyeball. What else are you going to do? You know? Mm-hmm. I could add more detail on there. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh, but anyway, back here. We have Mount Doom. You know? Mm-hmm. As you do. There's like smoke and ash. Because, you know, even though the ring was destroyed, it's still, still a volcano. Yeah, it didn't just, like, stop being a volcano. Yeah, you don't do that when you're a volcano. Still some lava dripping out. It's a good-looking mountain. Mm -hmm. And right down here, just like we all know from the Lord of the Rings movie, there's, like, a little, a little door. You know? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep, I know, I know what doors are. That's good. That'll get you far in life. Mm-hmm. You don't know what doors are, you gotta... Ask someone, yep. and then that person's not going to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, go find a stranger. Yeah. No. Uh, because, I mean, you don't want your friends to know that you don't know what a door is. That's true. Yeah, it's the quickest way to lose a friend. <laughs> uh, anyway. Like, like, maybe, if you're watching this and you're, like, four, mm -hmm. and you don't know what a door is, like, it's still weird. Like, you're still a little bit old. It's true. But... But, it's like but we'll cool. understand. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have to draw a path. <clears throat> to the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, the path like. Is that a perspective thing? Or like does the path just get so much it's wider? It's a perspective thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Still feels like it gets like real wide, real fast. It does. <laughs> <laughs> There's no denying that. Um, who, who visits this place? Yeah, uh, like it almost feels like we're standing right next to the tower, but also the tower is so small. Speaking of really small, try to draw a nose first, man. Is he facing us, but looking at the tower? Well, or at the, he's at looking the, down the road. Yeah, but like, why? He, his back is turned to it. He also has a really interesting neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be able to fix that in a second. You also like his mouth is like kind of part of his nose, or you just can't really see the details. Oh, what? <laughs> it's like a worm, man. <laughs> Well, he's like in a the claw hand. He's in a body cast. <laughs> like these are bandages. Oh, okay. He uh, maybe he just got out of his wheelchair or something. Let's draw a wheelchair. <laughs> Oops, that was the wrong button. What was that button? I've never seen that button before on my pen. Yeah, I don't know. What the heck, do wheelchairs look like? <laughs> I've seen wheelchairs it's, just so many times. That wheelchair <laughs> will fall backwards. It's like a little wheel back here. Like a training wheel. <laughs> this is the guy's first wheelchair. Mm -hmm. you know, you need a... He just stood up. He stood mm -hmm. up here so he could talk to the... Yeah. Usually wheelchairs have the little wheels in the front. <laughs> no, not this one. This is an off-roading wheelchair. It's... Mm -hmm. Gets you to, my, to this place. Um... <laughs> <laughs> just flips the wheels from the front mm -hmm. to the back make it worse so like this place is supposed to be so dark and foreboding and it's just so bright and friendly <laughs> right now <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to do like you know 
Yep. It's because you don't have like an army of goblins and orcs and I had a moon. Moons are ominous. Sometimes. This one is. Look at it. Maybe that's what he's looking at. He's looking at the ominous moon. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he might be able to see the moon at that weird angle that he's looking. With his back completely turned to it. So why why is there a guy in a full body cast going... Gonna go see Doctor Doom. Oh, you got to travel far to see Doctor Doom. It kind of makes it look like the mountain is the volcano is hairy. Yep, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's stone, yeah. rocks and stones. Mm-hmm. So anyway, the, like eye, the 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 eye, the personified eye, is mm-hmm. just like Doctor Doom. So wait, that guy is standing right next to the tower? What? No, he's like far, far away. He's, he's next to this. Well, I don't know. That's hard to say. <laughs> because the, to- the tower is real small. Is what it looks Maybe like. Maybe when they rebuilt it, it was smaller. But he's just like the secretary now? <laughs> yeah, he's like, the, he's like the, yeah, he's in the waiting room. Mm-hmm. We'll see you now. Little... Burned. <laughs> yeah, that's best. Oh, so you did you did end up going with the the burn the victim? Burn yeah, victim that's why he's thing. got bandages all over, mm-hmm. you know. And something about being in here fixes that. Right. You know? Like I don't know how. But just like is, go, yeah. Do- like, that, is there a doctor, doctor in there, or is the mountain <laughs> like is the volcano the doctor? No, I think I think there's a doctor in there. Like mm-hmm. he set up shot. Like you know, there was a guy, and he was like, "I'm a doctor. <laughs> I got tricked into being the burn victim doctor." <laughs> you know, as, mm-hmm. as at least I'm not the foot fungus doctor. That guy really yeah, stinks. There's that empty volcano that's not being used by yeah, anyone. Exactly. He's like, but I'm gonna need a secretary. <laughs> so he came and fixed up the dark lord. Yeah. <laughs> just the towers you know and he's chill now look at his eye yeah it's like his, I, i'm fully convinced if my eyes were on fire like, <laughs> i'd just be the worst to deal with too you mm-hmm. know i'd be like sending my armies into middle <laughs> earth just trying to find a cure mm-hmm. you know just like mindlessly destroying and yeah. you know like but I would, the burn victim doctor a little this is like a cured is, his eye burn this is like a uh like a commercial for that, <laughs> those eye drops. Like mm-hmm. they used to have clear eyes. Yep. You know, with the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Mm-hmm. Ben. You just to drip, yeah. drip some. What was his name? That guy. Guy who. Uh. I'm not. Ben I'm not gonna think Carson. of it. Carson. Ben no. Stiller. Ben. What? No, it was. I don't know. It was, anyway, thank you. The teacher from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You can look him up while I draw. Yeah. Oh, I meant we'll, people at home. But, you know, you I'll look it, it up. Yeah, thanks. Uh, what else we got out here? You got some billboards, of course. Oh, man. The... I watched a documentary w- that that guy hosted. Right, you guys went in high school. Right? Ben Stein. There it is. Yep. We'd solid in high school. Drink. Doctor. Doom. So it's like... It's like a billboard. A billboard for... Uh, so, like, so like he sells like a soda himself. You get up there... Wouldn't it be weird for a doctor? You get up there and it's just like a total tourist trap. <laughs> and mm-hmm. Like, you know... <laughs> like, think about hospitals. Hospitals and... Go drive by a hospital today. They're total tourist traps. There's like a hospital and then they build 12 restaurants outside of it and they build like a water park next to it. They build a hotel next to it. It's like, it's like this weird, like every time you visited somebody in the hospital, you got to have stuff where, to do apparently. Where are you even 
talking every about. Hospital. I was looking at every hospital. I, yeah, restaurants. I near can them. picture in my mind three hospitals they near us. All have water parks. None of them <laughs> have anything that you're saying. Maybe not a water park. I might have gone too far with that comment. But they all have a hotel. Like this is the first thing they do. They build a hospital and then they build a hotel next There's to it. There's not a hotel next to any of the three I can think of. Uh, there are. There are. Because I can. I know the three closest to you. The one down. Uh, Crisman. Yeah, there's a hotel right next to it. Oh, there's not. Yes, there is. Look it up on the map. Okay, I will. Yeah, there's hotels next to every hospital ever made. I don't know if it's because people are like flying in to say their goodbyes or they're flying yeah, in I to mean, say like, their hellos when make... somebody's born. I'd like to think it's all because there's a lot of babies being born. People are all flying in and they need somewhere to stay. Yeah, like it makes sense. It I does. just it's I... weird. Okay, what else do they got? In the... These are like baby volcanoes. Or something. Definitely not just triangles I'm drawing to try to fill in the empty space. Yeah, just look at how chill this guy is now. He's just happy to be there. I'm trying to make this not look like it's just sprouted hair. It's real gross looking now. Is there a hotel over there? Hmm? I'm trying to see, I guess. There technically is. It's like a really small... Well, of course it is. How many people are staying in the hospital hotel? Hopefully not many. Unless we had like a natural disaster or something. And like it doesn't really show up on the map. What does that mean? You found it. I know, like I Google searched it, but it's like it's not pointing to a building on the map. Hmm. And it's like, like it is near the hospital, but you wouldn't see it like if you were just driving. No, because they only are stated They're like people who like. Yeah, it's like. And what else is near that hospital right by us? A Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's like uh, the only thing <laughs> no while you're waiting like if you're like we flew out here because our grandbaby's being born <laughs> we need uh, to build him a crib <laughs> yeah, like, we gotta whittle him whittle her a rocking chair mm -hmm. while we wait you know yeah every every grandpappy mm -hmm. in the state goes there for their <laughs> for crib and rocking chair supplies but yeah. yeah the hotel's like so hidden though it's like I've been to that hospital many times. I've never Sorry. seen the hotel because it's like, like it's not even off of a road you would see it on. Yeah, but it's there. And they don't even like advertise. No, you don't have to. You do, those those hotels have it so well made. You know, you know what they're missing though. I'm sure good art. Yeah, we should go there and be like, hey, you want us to draw? Yeah, we can draw rocking chairs and we know cribs. we know you're here. Just because you get automatic, you know, first dibs, yeah. first dibs on anyone that the needs to go to the hotel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's probably mostly just grandparents and parents of people in the hospital are just yeah, like for these need somewhere that's to stay. How it is, you know, for some bigger hospitals, it might be like. At, like, well, you need, you know, you have, you're out of the hospital, but you want to stay near the specialist while you're still recovering. And it's like, you don't want to fly home. You know, like if you flew somewhere to see a specialist, it's like, well, I don't want to go home yet. Cause what if something happens in the next day, then you stay at the hotel possibly nearby. I guess that, I guess that would make sense. Yeah. But we don't have, we, we don't have specialists like that. The like this hospital, this hospital no. is like the most. This is the one you go to, and then they send you somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, like this hospital doesn't have a single specialist. <laughs> yeah, you know, like like it's bigger than some other ones because they at least have a lot of the machinery and stuff and tests. Yeah, this is these are weird hospitals. Like, there's a lot of weird hospitals like that. There's like hospitals that are like, like I was talking to somebody in Arizona recently, and they're like, there's only one hospital, like around here at all that they'll send you to if you're having like a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Like they will drive you like an hour and a half to this hospital right like 
But yeah, you like they'll like, drive you past twenty yeah, hospitals like just to, the, to get the to this one hospital. hospital. I'm like, that seems yeah. real weird. Mm-hmm. You know, like they really need to start guilting people into becoming heart doctors. Apparently, <laughs> you think that'd be just yeah. like, the first doctor, right? Like, isn't that the person you think of yeah. to be a heart surgeon? Like, what? Do, what? What does your hospital even do if like heart attacks and stuff are like, oh, we don't do that here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'd give out. Flintstone vitamins, <laughs> you know, yeah. real rough. Yeah, like I, a piece. like I understand when it's like, you know, big like MRI machines and stuff. Like, not yeah. every small hospital needs no, to have one those of those. Things are you know more expensive than spaceships, apparently. Yeah, and and it's usually not an instant emergency. Like, if you need an MRI machine, it's usually not because you're having a current heart attack. Yeah, but then you watch like every like medical show. Whatever, whatever yeah. hospitals those medical shows are in, they have every machine, yeah, everything, ever made. Yeah. every they test. Have machines that like people haven't even heard of. Mm-hmm. Like doctors are like, what is yeah. that? You, you know? can like, you do a blood test. They have the tests yeah. like right there. And every doctor <laughs> is trained for everything. Yeah, you know, like it's just how it works. Like, mm-hmm. You are doing brain surgery? Yeah, I'm doing the brain surgery. Yeah. Right? Thought you were doing the foot fungus surgery? No, <laughs> that's the other guy. <laughs> he got tricked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Uh, but he's a real fun guy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we're not going to get any better than that. We should just end the video. (laughs) Let's hope that the Doctor Doom movie, Avengers Doomsday, I think is what they're calling Mm -hmm. it, isn't a disappointment. I feel like Marvel is... Like, I love a good pun. Puns are great. Uh I feel like Marvel is above... Pun titles. <laughs> like, shouldn't they be? Yeah. Like, there's a comic book series called Doomsday, though. Like, mm-hmm. comic books are not above. No, like, and comic book great. titles are painful. Yeah, and it's great. Yeah. And I and I like I like the puns, mm-hmm. but it's like you're already being like this isn't a serious movie. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, what this drives people to do is like just go read Doctor Doom comics. Mm-hmm. The Doctor Doom in the comics is pretty sweet. Yeah. Like, the movie's gonna disappoint. Mm-hmm. It's you know. Yeah, it's just little hope. If Disney makes it, yeah. it disappoints. That's the rule. That's now. the rule lately with Marvel movies. But the comic books, the reason you know we love Doctor Doom so much is because he's just the best. Mm-hmm. You know, he might be a villain. We're glad the heroes stop him. I guess sometimes like, that's how you're supposed to feel. Yeah, yeah. but he's just the best. Mm-hmm. You like Iron Man, he's better. You like Doctor Strange, he's better. Mm-hmm. You like Hulk, he's better. Like yeah. you know, you like Superman. Sorry, that's DC, and Superman's better yeah. than all of them. Mm-hmm. Very true. See go read a Superman oh, comic. Sorry. Yeah, go read a Superman comic. <laughs> yeah, why are we talking about Doctor Doom? No, no. We respect Doctor Doom. Should we? We didn't, well, I mean, we didn't draw him. Yeah, that's true. See and do we respect oh, him? I, I tried it again. I tried that. <laughs> no, but do do we respect him? Like Doctor Doom? Yeah, it's one. Of, it's like one of those like weird things. Maybe uh, we'll get the art team to draw him for the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. As always, we're surprised you made it this far into our video. There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time.